The journey to gaining asylum in Switzerland may be long and fraught with danger. For Arwet, it has already been a painstaking process. After fleeing his native Eritrea, he managed to make his way to Geneva, where he has been living at a refugee center for 10 months. All the while, he's been waiting to hear if he will be able to legally stay on. It's very sad because uh, most of us are not here to find a job every day. We are struggling to, to find a job, to, to improve ourselves and to go to education. We are all fighting. At this cycle rental store, most of the employees are asylum seekers. Working here gives them a chance to be able to earn a wage, learn French, and integrate themselves into Swiss society. For more than 20 years, Switzerland has been tightening its immigration laws, and it's always proved controversial. Those in favor of changes to the law say that it's necessary to do so to deal with the thousands of people who turn up in the country every year merely looking for work. Critics say it's sending the message that foreigners are not welcome here. People who are looking to stay on in Switzerland are placed at centers like this. Living on the margins of society, they have no guarantee of settling down here. The change in the law would mean military deserters would no longer be able to claim asylum, nor would it be possible to seek refuge at Swiss embassies around the world. The humanitarian tradition of Switzerland is absolutely not compromised. We just want to make sure that in the future uh, people who really are asylum seekers are granted asylum and that those who abuse of the system uh, leave. But aid agencies such as Caritas that provide subsidized food for those most in need disagree. It's a shame because it gives off the image of a country that doesn't accept foreigners or give help to people in danger, an image of a racist country. Many people here say Switzerland is a small country and that it can't continue to let in people in the same numbers as it has done in the past. A figure that's increased since the advent of the Arab Spring. But for Arwet, integrating and contributing to Swiss society is his dream, one that is looking increasingly difficult to achieve. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Geneva.